Hey guys, what's up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, I want to answer the question, does it matter which UI UX design tool you use, okay, uh, to create products? And the answer is no, it does not matter, but you want to keep some things in mind, okay? There's some practicality when, you, when it comes to uh, starting out in UI UX design, just like in any other field. It does not matter at the end of the day, a tool, a UI UX design tool is just a tool which I'll talk about in a second, but you want to keep some things in mind. And let me give you some, some context and an analogy. Um, if you have a child and that child is starting to play basketball and you need to get that child some basketball shoes, um, nine times out of 10, or it would make sense to give Nike a try, right? Would that, would that not make sense? Um, yes, you can wear any type of shoe to play basketball. It doesn't matter the shoe. The shoe is just a means to an end. It's about the, the game of basketball, being able to shoot, run fast, et cetera, and do all those different things. But would you not give Nike a try? Of course, Jordan, Kobe, uh, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, all the top basketball players wear Nike and they've been around for years. They have a great product. Why wouldn't you give them a try? Just because you can wear Under Armour and Steph Curry wears Under Armour um, doesn't mean you should not give Nike a try, right? Obviously, 90% of the market wears Nike. They have a great product. It's great technology. So you would give them a try. It's no different if you're getting into photography. Does it really matter which camera you use? There's a bunch of different um, great cameras out there. Of course not, it doesn't matter. But if um, I'm following, let's say Casey Neistat and I want a video blog, right? And, and he uses the Canon 70D. Why wouldn't I give that a shot, right? Just because I could use my iPhone to blog. I would give that particular camera a shot because I want to get into that particular market, right? And if Hypothetically, I don't know the camera market or the photography market, but if everyone's using Canon or Sony or, or Nikon or whatever, and that and there's a there's a growing trend of like 60% has it, why wouldn't I give that particular tool a shot, right? And so those are just the practicalities. Um, at the end of the day, a tool is just a tool. When it comes to UI UX design tools, you have Sketch, you have Adobe XD, you have Envision Studio, UX Pin, Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, Figma, um, uh, Framer, um, it goes on and on and on and on. Shout out to Gravit. Somebody keeps sending me a link to Gravit every time I mention UI, UX design tools. Uh, Michael, he wants me to try out Gravit. Hey, Gravit's a great tool, UI, UX design tool, or it's a UI design tool. Um, check that out if you want. But does it matter which tool you use? Of course not. It doesn't. But if you're just now getting started, um, would you not give Sketch a try? Would you not... Um, be interested in a Mac, right? I have a YouTube video, which one you should get, PC or Mac. I just recommend what I use, all right? It doesn't matter at the end of the day if you can use Windows or this or that, but if the market, if the market is a trend in design and everyone uses a Mac and you're just now starting out and you're deciding, should I get a PC or a Mac? Get a Mac, all right? I have zero interest in entertaining the discussion or uh, of which one is better. It doesn't matter. Okay, if the market, if the general market uses Sketch, why wouldn't you give Sketch a try, right? So that's my, that's my um, thought process when it comes to that. Sketch, a Mac, and go from there, right? That's what I use. And the reason why I use Sketch is because I, I spent years using Adobe Fireworks. When Adobe asked Adobe Fireworks, I did Adobe Fireworks in Photoshop. When they asked Adobe Fireworks, um, Sketch was the next best thing. It's fully featured. It's great for power users. It has um, great bitmap capabilities along with their um, powerful um, vector capabilities. And it does, it has everything that I need, right? And so that's what I recommend. I, I teach, I, I use a Mac and I use Sketch, right? Could I use Figma? Could I use Adobe Axure? Could I use UX Pin? Not Adobe Axure, but Axure. Could I use Adobe XD? Could I use UX Pin? Could I use Figma? Could I use, of course, they could take Sketch away and like tomorrow and I wouldn't miss a beat. It would take me about 30 minutes to learn any other tool. And every principle that I live by when it comes to designing a product would remain the same, okay? A tool is just a tool, okay? You gotta keep that in mind. Listen, and here's what you wanna keep in mind, every, UI UX design tool has the capabilities to perform about 15 to 20 essential things that everyone needs in UI UX design. I'll give you an example. There's about 20, there's about 15 to 20 
essential tools that every tool on the market includes and something that you need to use every single day, like being able to create a shape, being able to create rounded corners in a shape, being able to mask an image that's like inserting an image into a shape, um, being able to um, perform or to create drop shadows, multiple drop shadows, um, borders, adjust your borders, manipulate fonts, adjust fonts, font weights, font sizes, um, integrate or insert SVG icons into that particular app to modify the icon size and the color and things like that. Every one of these tools have this capability, right? When it comes to photo manipulation, obviously a lot of these tools may not have that capability and that's not essential to UI design. You can do that in graphic design or some other online tool like, like befunky.com and so forth, right? So when it comes to UI design, you learn those 15 to 20 essential tools doesn't matter if you're working within Sketch, doesn't matter if you're working within Adobe XD, it doesn't matter if you're working within Figma. If you learn these essential tools in Vision Studio, when that comes out, if one tool falls off, it would take you about 15 to 30 minutes to learn and pick up those same exact tools on that other app, all right? That's the power of, that's the good side of of uh, this issue of having so many different tools. There's still about 15 to 20 essential things that all these tools have and if you know them one in one particular app you can your learning curve to learn that in another app is so small you can learn it within 30 minutes to an hour and be up and running and still continue to design great products in another app okay so at the end of the day a tool is just a tool it's still you still like that's why i focus all my teachings and and, and learnings around the principle of design i don't I don't center my entire life in teaching and education around just sketch or around just being on a Mac, okay? It's all about product design, something that everything that I teach you can use in any tool, Photoshop, Adobe XD, and so forth. Even though I, I perform the action on sketch, you can use that same technique and apply it to any different tool and still perform and produce great um, products, right? It's all about using great UX design method, methods and principles, good visual UI design, and that's where um, the focus should be, right? Um, another, just to leave you with this point, like for example, uh, content marketing, me posting a video on YouTube is the, is, is, the, is the meat and potatoes, right? Whether I post it on YouTube or another website that has video, that's irrelevant, right? But because YouTube, has the audience why wouldn't i not post it on youtube if, if youtube has all the technology and things to make it easy for me to get my information out to the marketplace why wouldn't i not post it on youtube right um case in point uh, gary vaynerchuk who was a master at content marketing and, and 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 video and things like that he started his career on tumblr right it was about getting his message out on video when he realized, hey, I better put my videos on YouTube to, to go to scale, he took the same exact principle that he used posting videos on Tumblr and moved it there. If they take YouTube away, we'll just pick up the same exact uh, principles that we use for creating video and we'll post it somewhere else, wherever it doesn't matter. YouTube is just a tool. So don't center your career around YouTube. Use it when it's available. Use these tools when it's available, but don't center your career around these tools, all right? Center them around the meat and potatoes of what exactly it is that you do, which is product design, all right? That's my message in this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you gained some nuggets from this, and hopefully um, um, you gained some knowledge and you're inspired, right, to continue and go further. Anyway, if you wanna learn more about what I do, again, thanks for always watching, listening, commenting, and subscribing. And if you wanna subscribe, you wanna get more videos like this in your inbox, subscribe, hit the little bell, and get the notification uh, message. But if you don't learn more about what I do and what I teach, visit that site right there, click on that information icon. You can learn more about what I do at MLUX Academy. You can learn product UI, UX design, you can get started for free. Check that out. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment, shoot me a message, and I'll be happy to answer that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.